Hey, hey it's, it's Patty, Patty and Patty. Patty. Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? You're, You're watching, watching Growing Up Italian. Growing Up Italian. Growing Up Italian. Growing Up Italian podcast. Growing Up Italian. 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 Growing Up Italian podcast. Growing Up Italian. Growing Up Italian. Growing Up Italian podcast. Growing Up Italian. Woo! We are rolling, by the way, right now. Oh, we're okay. Rolling. okay. Yeah, who are but I, it's, a, it's a perfect. It's a perfect transition talking yeah, about yeah. Marlon Brando to the Godfather. Yeah, but you got to see that movie. It's you a got classic. It. It's like really amazing. Yeah, it's really amazing. You know, it's, it's about working class people who worked on the the waterfront, on the docks, and, and the docks, you know? yeah. longshoremen's. Yeah. But he was he actually plays a prize fighter. Yeah, in this, that's and right. Like a down on his luck right. prize fighter, and there's a scene where he's talking to his brother in the back of a taxi cab. That's it's classic. Oh my god! How, that how, how often cry. do you ladies watch movies? Oh, I watch I'm them all the channel. time. I'm I on, watch TCM. I love it. I'm on TCM. I got what? the freaking uh, two. Was it Turner channel two thirty? Turn of classic movies. I love it. You girls are uh, op op. What's that? The brand op Xfinity. Huh? Are you guys on cable? <laughs> like what, what's? Oh, Optimum? Said, Optimum. Yeah, Optimum. Uh, no, she's got the cable. I, I got, got the YouTube box. TV. Oh, okay. I got the box. And I'm then trying I got... to get her off that cable for years. No, please. That's all I need. I need I need my TCM. I need my Andy Griffith. And I need my Channel 13. You're, yeah. you're a purist because... And my History Channel. And <laughs> yeah. I like the animals. I you like watch watching... the YouTubes, right? You watch yeah. YouTubes, right? Me, personally, I watch YouTube. But in this office, we have three TVs and they all have a cable box. And I like really? watching Dr. Pohl. He's that veterinarian out in Minnesota, mm. and I like more out in Michigan. And he and he takes care of all the animals. I love that. What about you know? like my six hundred pound life? Do you guys watch no, that? No, I can't oh, I watch that. Them I sometimes. can't. Just I like can't the watch it. Oh, yeah. me, I like the hoarders. Makes me upset. No, I can't. My mom gets so upset. It bothers me. Kishki, Kishki. You know why? She's a Virgo. She can't Please. watch that shit. I can't watch it. I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna go out of my mind because I gotta go in and fix everything. She's always got to clean this away. She's a real Virgo. I'm cleaning all the time. Well, you I'm putting like, everything's away and I'm throwing things out all the time, yeah, right, Patty? Yeah. yeah. I'm two, making things all squared and nice. Two pieces of a pod. No. Patty yeah. and Patty, everybody. Hey, Let's welcome you our show. Hey. What are you going to do? Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? Forget about it. Nothing. 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 That's yeah. what you're going to do. Yeah. So, I'm telling you. Those shirts are incredible, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. It's beautiful, I right? I designed it. Isn't it nice? You, you designed yeah, it? Yeah, wow. we, the, we took this picture on the yeah. terrace. See and the then basil? I designed it. Isn't the that basil gorgeous? is like ready to crawl. Look at that. Look at that. Right there. Go, and then I put the thing up there yeah. and yeah. All, whatever. Yeah, got it all there and for sale, we too. We sell them out good, too, wait, right? Wait, 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 oh, you, oh, you, oh, okay. Where do you sell these shirts? Tell, we tell sell them right on pattypatty.com. You go yeah, look you go right merch. there and it says go merch. Go to the merch page. And you click on it and get the and there's, When you go on, there's this thing that goes bing and it's, sorry, goes bing and it's just, you know, buy a t-shirt. You buy right there. All right, guys, you buy If you want a shirt, pattyandpatty.com. Pattypatty.com. Get this color. Right? You can cups, buy cups, I got yeah. mugs, mono, underwears, sweatshirts, whatever you want. Mudans. The got mudans yeah, too. Nice, nice. <laughs> Big mudans, small mudans. Yeah, of course. Beautiful. Check yeah. it out. It says yeah. Patty and Patty on them? Check yeah. it out. On the butt you cheeks, Patty, Patty and Patty, Patty on your ass you if you want. <laughs> Walking around the beach. Ladies, mm -hmm. you two are like the female version of what me and Sabine are probably going to be in 20 years. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi and Rocky shirts would be nice. Yeah, yeah, right? Let's talk about the name. Patty and Patty. Yeah. Oh, Patty and Patty. Well, well both named Patty. We're both named Patty. Are you really? I'm Patty Martucci. Yeah. I'm Patty Scardino. Yeah. Our we went to are. school Patty together. Patty. We're both named Patty. Yeah. Oh, we you guys aren't related? Nah, no. We know each other since friends. first grade. We're best, best friends. friends. Yeah, she lives... Sister Margalata's class down yeah. at the Holy Cross on 42nd Street. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And we live in Hell's Kitchen. She's on the fifth floor to walk up. She's on the fifth floor. I'm on the fourth floor. Yeah. I now always you go guys are really... Everything you... You post on the internet. I'm like so surprised. Yeah. Usually mean? people have like a little act or something. What do you mean? For social media, you know, like you guys really are everything. Yeah. Everything. Oh, yeah. We're, we're the real deal. Yeah. You know, I mean, we've been best friends for ages, right? Yeah. Remember you and Sister Margalata's class? That old penguin she tore. Oh, remember you put that <laughs> eyeshadow on and she oh. got all pissed off? She, she took the ruler. And one time she threw like a prayer book at me. Like, <laughs> almost right hit you in the my head. head. 
Yeah. And me, I rolled up my skirts when I was, you know, when I was going uh-huh. to school because I didn't want, uh, you know, I wanted a little short skirt because those damn uniforms. I know, they'll come down to here. She not, called me she, one time. Miss, chased Miss me Margalata chased you, yeah? Yeah, yeah Sister, Sister Margalata. She chased me, man. Remember oh, that? that? Yeah. She's going to tell my parents, forget that. <laughs> Could you imagine your father? <laughs> forget it. He would have chased me too with an axe. <laughs> Good old sister Marinara. Yeah. Margarita. Um, Margarita. <laughs> Margarita. Margarita. I love that. Sister Marinara. Margarita. Excuse me. Sister Marinara. She had the yeah. best sauce in the world. That's yeah. right. That's right. But back then, like, the nuns and the priests, they used to, like. Oh, yeah. They had yeah, they, punishment. They, they, they gave yeah. you one. Yeah. yeah. They gave you the schaff, you know? Yeah. Nice. Absolutely. And your parents would be okay with that? Yeah, they were doing the same thing. Well, they didn't have a problem with it. Come on. If you went to school and you did something wrong, it was your fault. Yeah. It was your fault. It ain't like today. No. no. Oh, I'm being bullied. I'm being targeted. No. Forget it. was your it. fault. And then you got to... And you're going to get more when you when get you home. home. Yeah. That's it. That's the way it was. It was. You so got more when you got they home. They just assumed that you were wrong, you know? And then yeah. the nuns were always there was right. No the teachers were always right. Yeah. Nobody listened to you. No. You know how parents, oh, listen, you got to listen to both sides. What both sides? There was no both sides. My mother used to say, used to have an expression in the house, kids don't win. That's it. That was the expression, kids don't My win. My mother's sucks. was kids don't count. <laughs> and that's it. I'm the mommy, that's why. That's it. <laughs> Where did you guys grow I up? said so. Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen. Really? Right there. Yeah. I thought yep. you were like... Brooklyn. No, no. Was still Hell's Kitchen because my, right, you know, die hard when our parents when we were young, Hell's Kitchen was still a lot of a lot of Italians. Yeah, really? like even Italians. in the West Thirties there. In fact, I think in The Godfather, I always thought like it, they, until I read the the, the uh, book, I always thought that they were uh, in the village. But I think they were they were actually in Hell's Kitchen. I think so. And too. Vito came over. I think so too. Because that yeah, was all real a lot Italian of the enclave, were Italian and Irish. Yeah. Rock, do you know anything about Hell's Kitchen? Not one thing. It was all either. Italians. Yeah, yeah well, you know, where is Hell's all, Kitchen? Like, tell us a cooking show. It's, it's, it's right. There. It's like from 59th Street and 8th Avenue, 9th Avenue, 10th Avenue, all the way down to the to, 30s. To 34th. So, like Midtown, above yeah. Midtown, right? Yeah, it's well, it is west Midtown, side. but it's west. It's like west of Times Square. Eight, so, you guys nine, are closer 10, to Jersey. 11. Well, no, I mean, we're closer to Times Square. Yeah, we're closer to Times Square. But, like, from Midtown. You're on the Jersey side of the water, not Brooklyn. Uh, correct. In other words. Yeah, yeah you're yeah, closer yeah. to the Hudson River. You're closer the to the Hudson. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you're, you're on the, all the way on the west side. Yeah, yeah. But we had all the, what's that? What's the name of that store? Mazzarelli's or? Mazzarelli's Ma- uh, Ma- with the, with the closed, pork store. Yeah. They closed. Well, that's busy. Our pork store's still there. That's There's still there. There's some great places in the West 30s that are we still We get our authentic. sausage there. It's the best sausage in town. Esposito's pork store. There's Like dried sausage or like? Oh, they got everything. you want. Yeah. They the got real good sausage to, to they cook. They got the mozzarella, everything. And they got chickens that they kill fresh, right? Mm, they always yeah. got fresh chickens hanging to up. To this day? Yeah. yeah. Live poultry? No, they don't have live. They, no, they not live, but they there. kill them, they hang them up. They got, it's fresh. Let me tell Those you. aren't good for chicken cutlets, though. Well, maybe the well, live chickens. Chicken. Maybe if it's soup. For no, soup. they don't keep live chickens. You no, can't they do don't got no live more. chickens. They got the chicken. The well, I mean, everything you know, they gets What I'm saying is the fresh. whole chicken, yeah. when you get it uncooked, is not good for chicken cutlets. No, you got to do the you, chicken cutlets. Yeah, you got to yes. get the... And then put it in. Yeah, yeah. 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 You well, look like you right. make a good chicken soup, though. I do. So do I. <laughs> I got good fowl, remember? Mm. I get good fowl from Espositos. <laughs> and I make with the little meatballs. I And I put the and I put the escarole in there. Yeah. And I make it what, what, up. What, it's what? good. I make the chicory soup I make with the pastine and the little baby meatballs like my grandma. Like wedding soup, yeah. right? You wedding know what soup? I can't yeah. stand, Bro. Patty? Lift yeah. it up I can't bit. stand when people make chicken soup and they don't skuma the soup. You know when they skuma the soup? Yeah. They, what does they you make, skuma right, the soup? I'll tell you what Get that the means. the chicken fat off. You got it. When you're boiling it and all that crap comes up, all that yeah, brown that, foam. Like, that stuff around the, about the And fish? then people throw yeah. in their chicory and they throw in the escarole and the eggs. All in that crap over there. You got to take that you skim spoon it. and you got to skuma. You got to skim it. That's yeah. right. And you got to take that off. Shkuma. And it takes an hour. How do you spell skuma? S C H U. M A. Shkuma. 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 Yeah. yeah. Because Beautiful. I'll tell you something. My mother taught me how to make good soup. Because you got to take your time. It mm. takes time to cook. And also, I always cook the chicken soup with, on the bone. I put That's the chicken right. parts on the bone. Because the bone, the proteins, and it breaks down. That's and right. And that adds flavor. 
I mean, you can put chicken cutlets in there too, but you ain't gonna get the same. Oh, I can't put chicken cutlets. In Sometimes too. I put chicken cutlets in to just have them, and then I'll make them like a chicken salad with them. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I don't make that for the soup. But I then, put the chicken but then you take in. the chicken out. You yeah. take and the chicken you take out. Take it off the bone. Take it off the bone. Put it back put in. It in the plate. You could put it back in or chop it up, but you put it in yeah. the plate. Whatever you want to do. But the bone soup is good for people who are sick too. Yeah. If they say you're sick, you have bone soup. Bone marrow. The bone yeah, broth. The bones all the, like broth. today, all of a sudden, yeah. all the all the hipsters and the yuppies are going broth. about, oh, bone broth. Like it's this new thing. Yeah. We've yeah. been drinking for years. We've been the doing Chinese that for years. have been doing that, recommending that for 2,000 Please. years. Please. And when you put the beef bone like in there, it's, in it's bone thing. soup. They just came up with it. Oh, oh I put yeah. bones oh, in the soup. You go on the internet now. Oh, you got to have bone soup if bone you don't feel that's Friggin the big chicken thing. soup. That's what you put in. What are you oh. going to put in? You put in the chicken with the bone. Yeah. All the fitness freaks now exactly. eight ounces of bone broth. It's like they broth. discovered it. Please. Hey. Please. Speaking, it's like speaking of hipsters. Yeah. That was like pan e pomodoro, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Red and tomatoes, bruschetta. Yeah. <laughs> Please. That was, I was eating that since I was two. Yeah, right? I'm Chop up so, the tomatoes, squish it on mm. there, put the olive oil. That's it. The most simple ingredient stays exactly. there. Exactly. But I'm not going to lie. When I knew you guys were coming at 630... I, I headed downstairs 15 minutes early because I wanted, I didn't have your numbers. And the way we've been communicating, got to be honest, I feel like it was a little weird because it was like through Instagram. And well, that's what we told that, you to contact us and that's why I gave you my phone number. I, I, just, yeah. I just felt like I didn't want it to be awkward, so I wanted to be, make sure I was outside and saw you guys. Oh, of course. Right. So yeah. then I see you, you for, guys from two blocks away. Thank you for hosting us. That's of yeah. course, yeah. of course. But what I'm saying is, I noticed later, right? you were like looking mm-hmm. At all these stores, as you were coming up, yeah, like you yeah, stopped, I love it. And you were talking about it for like a minute, and then walk yeah. another like hundred feet, <laughs> stop, talk about it a minute. Then I noticed the thrift store. You guys oh, stopped that. That's what I guys, love. We, you like that? Loves thrift stores, and I do really? too. In garage sales, we didn't want to go be out of late, town. you know. But otherwise, yeah. we would have made a little dash in I there. I wanted to stop in. But I, you gotta I try like, stuff on, you know. And I like straw bags. I saw a straw yeah. bag in the window. How many straw bags do I have? Yeah, she, she needs another straw bag. Like she needs like my, three. My closet's stuffed with straw bags. Yeah, I love it though. <laughs> so we're gonna, gonna make, make us a, a sandwich later, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my God, I what's the perfect sandwich? Oh, my God. Oh, what do you got? Gabagol, brisotto, all that oh, stuff. Yeah? so good. I talked like, like you got any broccoli rob? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like broccoli some broccoli rob, rob like and mozzarella. Yeah, something. sure. With the cold of, cuts? The broccoli rob with the cold cuts? Uh, no, I'm not big on that, but uh, not the cold cuts. I'll make up my mind. I don't mind. like I mozzarella. Gotta see what I got the bully for. Yeah, what do you got the bully for? You got to rewind for a second. Yeah. So growing up. Yeah. You grew up on 42nd Street? No. no. 46. We went to school. They went to school for okay. Holy Cross. Yeah. They said. Yeah. So your whole lives, all you know is that area? That's it. 9th Avenue, 46, over there. Well, we leave the house sometimes. No, you know? I know, I know. I know. <laughs> but that's where we went. I'm we just stayed saying, in the morning neighborhood. Born and raised and stayed there. Yes, yeah, we did. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, right in the same building. Just, you know. Would you ever leave? Why the hell would she, we Where leave? Where are we going, Patty? We got, I mean, we live Who's in Midtown Manhattan. Rent now? Why would you want to leave that? You can walk to all the theaters. You can walk and to Carnegie Hall. And where are we going to go with all the rents? Yeah, we, we got, we go got rent stabilization and all and stuff. Yeah, we can't go but, nowhere. Uh, yeah, we got, I mean, you walk out your apartment, you got everything right there. It's so you know, exciting. I go do my shopping. We you go know? to Espositos. We hang out. You we walk go in the, the park. Things. You see people you play, playing the sax and yeah, stuff like that. I mean, there's always something going on. Ninth Avenue Street Festival. I love that. There's always something going on. Get your you know? sausage and peppers. We get our, you know, we go down, buy some earrings. You know, I love that festival. Yeah. Patty, I gotta be honest. I yeah. love this patty. Oh, which one? Yeah. Which Wait, one? So how, how do we differentiate which patty's which? Would you say Patty M? Yeah, I'm Patty. Pat, yeah, I'm Patty, I'm Patty uh, M. She's Patty, Patty S. Patty, Patty, Patty M. Patty S. Patty S. Patty S. Patty S. Yeah. So Patty M. I want to say that you have the most incredible bun I've ever seen oh, in my life. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That is fantastic. Thank you very much. It reminds me of a little bit like the good fellow scene when uh, it was hiding the diamonds yeah. and the bun. I really know how to get it up, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 And look at this, and look at this barrette. This, I'm going to tell you something. How many men have talked to me because of this barrette? They stop her on the oh, This they, is they, a conversation piece. It is. So wait, are we, Patty M and Patty S, are we single ladies? Yeah, I'm divorced. Yeah, oh, nice. please. Please, I, I had a lot of boyfriends, but, you know, nothing worked out. That friggin' Enzo, that's the last one, and that's it. And she wants me to date. Yeah. Date who? Why don't we make, you, why don't make you a nice Tinder Ugas. profile? Please. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are lit. You could probably get on Raya. Right. What What's the hell that? is that? It's like dating for celebrities. It's like a dating app for celebrities. What? Really? On yeah. Raya? Yeah, Raya. 
And what do you do? Are they dating other celebrities? What's, the, what's the definition the of a celebrity? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you just basically talk to, you know, nice, handsome fellas. Oh, right? yeah? Yeah, all right. they're, all, they're all verified on Instagram, you know? Daniel Craig? Maybe. I like him. I like James Bond. Patty. So t- yeah. tell us a little bit like about him. Tell us a little bit about, Ooh. like, compliments you got on the bun, because I kind of... Well, they asked over. me where I got my barrette. They said, I like your barrette. I said, I got it at Rite Aid. And then we start talking. Mm. And that's a nice thing. People stop me all the time. Yeah. That's, that's I got incredible. this years ago. That is a nice thing. I don't thing. know what I would do if I ever lost it, Patty. Yeah, I know. Uh, you can't find something like this No, no you more. can't. You can't find that. It's no hard more. to find Rite Aid. Now, Patty, yeah. yes, you just accepted that that's Patty M's trademark. You know, you went a little... Different route or? Well, yeah. I mean, you know, I got well, my own thing going on. I got my spit curls. Oh, oh, those are nice. Yeah. You know how you do them? Yeah. Spit. <laughs> that's it. Like spit. That's yeah. what you do. Yeah. You spit and you go like that. And, and that's twirl, it. And that's all. Sometimes you put scotch tape on them at Sometimes, night to keep night, them. Night, yeah, right? to keep them. So like how's the dating scene? Yeah, well, Gots is the dating mm-hmm. scene, please. Remember Fred and Mike that we oh, met at that bar? You made I had go to out drag that her out. She was kicking and screaming. I said, let's get dressed up, go to a bar. We, we look met, good. We look good. I you put on my, look fantastic. She was, had her I lap, put on uh, my zebra. zebra. And I had my leopard. We look mob really wife nice. Mob wife aesthetic. How yeah. you doing? We look beautiful. What mob wife? That was the 80s. That's the way we dressed. Yeah, that's the way we dressed. Wife. Bullshit. We, anyway. Yeah, and we yeah. went out. We got right, a baby Patty? bottle? Hmm? You got a baby bottle? No, this is a throat coat tea to keep my... my uh, her throat, throat coated. Throat. Yeah. Yeah. Her throat yeah. coated. So uh anyway. I respect that. Yeah, we, we went, went out, <laughs> right? And yeah. these two guys, they started coming up to us. Yeah. Mike and Fred. Fred like me. No, Mike like Mike me. Mike like you. And Fred like you. Fred really liked me. Mod on. He Mike was, was, he Mike was, was a fire around. Man. Yeah. Mike was a fire. And what was Fred? He was cute. Fred, he used to uh, install linoleum. He, yeah. That's what, yeah, that's what he did. He installed linoleum. What's linoleum? Yeah. Linoleum, you know, on the floor. On the floors. So like the kitchen floors. What you floors. had on the kitchen floors That's when you were growing up. Yeah. 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 So, we, so it didn't work out with them? Well, you know, I mean, we, you know. I went out with bar. Mike. Yeah. But then I found out Mike had a wife. Me. So you want yeah. you as a boomer? She chased, she no. chased me. Let me tell you, I don't even want like to think about it because I get so scared. I freak out. She chased me down the street with an axe. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Why he had was, was Factor crazy. Cat. What Factor was her cat. name? Arlene. She had I think it was Arlene. blonde hair, yeah. tight jeans, the blonde hair with the ponytail over here. She had a big friggin' axe. She I, thought say goes, I think you say ass. I think you say booty. Mm-hmm. And I said, Yeah, who wants to know? She took out that friggin' axe. She was chasing me down Ninth Avenue. Yeah. I got scared to death. Was I that said, embarrassing no for you? Embarrassing. I was scared she to was, death. I was gonna lose my life. life. Yeah. I was gonna get it in the neck. Yeah. I said, no more, that's it. Would I ain't you, going out. Would you top out at like seven miles an hour? How fast oh, I know? was running, boy. Let me tell you. I had on my, uh, running you know, shoes? My, yeah. my loafers here, my sass loafers. Mm-hmm. And I was running. I saw yeah. I saw something on uh, Instagram recently where um, it was like uh, one of those memes where unacceptable places to be taken on a date. Mm. Do you feel going for coffee is not a date? I think it's all it's right. A meet- it's a meeting. It's you like to, meet. to just a meet you know? and greet. Yeah. But if that's the date, I don't You're know. You're going to take me out for coffee every time. I mean, where's this yeah. going? Yeah. 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 You know. The I mean, f- I can the first see if time, it's during the day. So the first, the first day, what's the perfect first date? Nice dr- a drink at a nice place. Yeah. Nice a nice restaurant. A nice place. Like maybe the bar of a nice restaurant or yeah. a nice bar that's not Something too loud. Something nice. You know? you know, if it's too loud, then you can't talk. Yeah. Like Even somewhere it's hard to get a But don't take parlor. me to freaking Applebee's or something, yeah. you know. I mean, on. delicious yeah, Applebee's. Pizza, they always have a nice room in the back. Yeah. They have a nice place. You can have dinner. You can have a drink. You go to Delizia Pizza. You feel like you went out. Mm. Mm. Okay, so pizza is a good first date spot. Well, no. Yeah, well, to, to have the restaurant well, in the I mean, back. If you know, in the you back. can have nice lentil Not that you're soup. going for a slice or something. You can, get, yeah, you you can, can have a chicken nice palm. Chicken yeah. parmesan, you can get a nice lemon, uh, what do you call it, filet of lemon to sole, you know? Yeah. So, pizzeria, but chicken parm in the back. Well, like, if it's already, yeah, if it's, it's a like pizzeria, a pizzeria restaurant. If it's got a restaurant in the back, not yeah. the kind of place you're going to go get a slice. Yeah, you not know, just a and, slice or date. You're going to take yeah. me out, give me some, you know, give me something. Get so a nice gotta appetizer. They got to have seafood. Seafood, yeah, your little like calamari entree, appetizer, yeah. you know. Then I'll have a yeah. dinner, chicken parm with yeah. some spaghetti and a salad. I'm, I'm not sharing no dessert with nobody. 
You I like your own sharing dessert. the dessert. That's nice if you get two with different you, desserts. But not with the date. I, I like sharing the dessert. No, I'm I making my own. Sexy. I feel like I that's know. bonding. Like, yeah, I tell her, yeah you can bond soup. later on. I'm getting yeah. my own dessert. I ain't sharing, sharing no apple <laughs> crisp with nobody. Here She's being a Virgo. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, no, I want my own dessert. Well, so I want my own that. spoon. So you're not going to touch like their dessert then? No, because I feel like that's cheap. Are we going to share dessert? Forget it. Maybe after, you know, we, we, we're we going out now, then I'll share dessert. But you taking me out on a few dates to start out with, I want yeah. my own dessert. I know See, I don't mind sharing dessert, but I don't want to share the fork. No. You know, Forget I that. want Schieve. my own fork and, you know. Forget it. Whatever. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think that's, that's right. kind of sexy. Yeah, yeah you like that, dessert. Patty? All yeah, right. you know. All right. It's different. You, know, you can get little, your tiramisu. Like you said, it's a little bit of a bonding hang thing. Hang out. Yeah. A little tiramisu, what do you want to do? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> tiramisu and hang out. But tiramisu you know. and chill. Yeah. Tiramisu means pull me up. That's what it yeah. means. Yeah. Tiramisu. Yeah. tiramisu. Pull me up. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Pull me up. Pull me up. Well, I got to give you two a lot of credit because the first time I met you was at, and I knew you beforehand. Like, you guys are all over the internet. But the point I'm trying to make is, I saw you at the Sushi Mango concert, which oh, we had so much am- fun, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Were backstage was really, oh my such god, such lovely guys, weren't they? They're really so cute. Got, I gotta be honest, she like, had it there. That cute one with the beard, with the beard. Yeah. Oh my god, Andrew, it was so Andrew, Andrew. Yeah. It was so cute. Yeah. Mm. He, Looks his, like Daniel Craig. You notice that he's laughing you. over there because his name is Andrew too. Yeah, so as a compliment. Yeah, I liked him. You like it's like accent? James Bond. Oh please! Oh my Stop God, he drove me like crazy. that accent. Sexy, come on. Just like uh, Hugh Jackman. My yeah. God, like drives you nuts from that's his from uh, block, from actually. Australia. Yeah. I gotta be honest. When you guys came to the show, you took over. Like everybody, all the attention went to you, ladies. Oh You're my kidding. God! Really? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Really? Really? Yeah. Everybody was stopping Tell to take pictures more. with you. Tell us more. Tell us more. Is that not true? Uh, well, they honestly, did, we but from really your perspective, really, we want to hear about no, it. No, well, tell us. We know well, he goes stroked here. Tell well, us. Yeah, I, felt like right. the, I felt like the Beatles walked in or something. Oh, my God. No yeah, you were, you know, No, I'm really? serious. Yeah, Holy yeah. shit. I'm serious. Because everybody was stopping and take pictures, and then they went People from were you guys pointing to, at to Sushi Mango. Yeah. Wow. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's wild. See, you know, it's funny because we're, we're, we're there, you know, you're in the whole thing. You're not really. Yeah, you don't you're take aware it of in. It, but not, yeah, you don't yeah. take it you in. You know, what, what your perspective telling yeah, us now, that's fast. pretty good. Yeah, yeah. that's fast. nice. So what, what I was trying to tell you is the way you two move, you know, it's just amazing seeing that you have an actual social media person. You have somebody who's behind the camera recording you at all times. It's like to think that like that I, I your point in your life, that's amazing. Thank you. Know you. I mean? Yeah, like that, thanks. You, you what, 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 what Rocco, like, what I guess what, like, what we're both trying to say is that, like, you're moving, like, top, top people are moving. Like, you have someone handling your stuff for you, like. Well, we do have a wonderful we do. She's uh, fabulous. social media person, Chloe. She's fabulous, Chloe. Chloe. Yeah. And, you know, really, when you're doing something like that, when you're going to town hall to see Sushi Mango, you don't want to have to be dealing with your tripods and yeah, selfies yeah. and sticks just, and everything. So, you know, she she did it, everything for us. So we could yeah. just do what we have you to do. You guys just got to be yeah. yourselves. Yeah, yeah we'd exactly. be Patty and Patty. How does it feel when people stop you to take pictures? Feels great. It's, uh, yeah. I love it. Oh, we can meet. We, we love, love our We went fans. to San Gennaro Festival. Oh. Mono. That lady, when we came out of the subway, we, she we was screaming. We were walking up the subway stairs. Yeah. I swear to God, we didn't even get on the freaking street. On Grand Street, when you get off in Little Italy. Yeah. And she was like, Patty and Patty. She was screaming, I got to get a picture. And we took a video out. with her. And she we, was so nice. The previous year, we went down during the day. Because we uh, know Danny on the corner. He's a Zeppeli guy. He's, He's a the best. The best so Zeppelis nice. Down there. What's Him the and his wife. Danny on the corner. That's yep. what it's called. Danny Him and his wife. And he's on the corner of yep. Grant Street and uh, Mulberry. Right? Yeah, the Danny on the best Zeppelis. That's where uh, our stand is. Yeah. Yep. It's the great. You got to try his Zeppelis. He's, He's got the really same good. pots from his grandfather. They're like 80 years old. Yeah, the they're all pots. like really, Excuse really, me. you know, seasoned yeah. from yeah. doing all the Zeppelis from his grandfather. So we went down there. He had a Zeppelin eating contest. So we were kind of uh, co-hosting it. it. Yeah. Oh. And anyway, we had a fan who actually sought us out. He said, I saw that you posted you were going to be down here. And I said, let me come down. And this he young came guy. down. Really this nice young guy. guy. Like in his 20s. Yeah, and, and he, he came down, pictures, he took yeah. pictures with us. He goes, I yeah. heard you were going to be down there. I saw it on the internet, and I, yeah. we came down. But being it, being yeah. from Manhattan, do you think Manhattan Italians are the best? Or New like, Yorkers are the best. New Yorkers are the best. New Yorkers are the best. What's, what's better than New York? Because I feel like... Uh, Come on. What's Rocco, better than New York? Me and Rocco are from here. We're from Hashtag Brooklyn. Hashtag I love New York. I feel like Brooklyn <laughs> Italians are the best. 
Wow. Well, New Yorkers are the best. I mean, you know, Brooklyn, everybody, Staten Island, New York. I mean, I got relatives from Brooklyn. I got relatives from I got Queens, the, the Bronx. Bronx. I got yeah. people in the Bronx. I got people in well, Staten Island. It. But, you know. There ain't no place like Queens. I got people in Queens. But this is this New York. Is New York is the greatest city in the world. You know? Even just, you walk out the subway over here and on uh, Graham Avenue and just walking down the street and it was like, the old and the new. Yeah, you and got you the pork the old, store, the, the old pork, rows old Italian, of houses. Those, those old row houses. Then you and see yeah. the new, new places. Construction, yeah. And new it's just stores. always changing, always evolving. It's great. That's it's, it's just, it's New York is its own entity. And what I love know? about like, you know, Brooklyn, Staten Island, the Bronx, Queens, New York, everybody's like each part of New York City has their own personality. Yeah, and there's you know? always something new to discover. You can't say who's better than anybody no. else. It's That's it's true. it's yeah. just everybody's beautiful in that sense because yeah. everybody brings a special flavor to be an Italian from different areas. You yeah, know? not only Italians. I mean, New York in general. I mean, I yeah. go out to the Rockaways and I got off the subway once or I was going past and I'm smelling this great smell. And it was uh, this jerk chicken stand. Oh, oh, on, in Rockaway? On Rockaway. Oh, mud on. And so then of course you... I had to stop and for $10 you could get like a gavoon portion of jerk chicken. With, with the, the rice, rice and, and everything the else. Pigeon oh, peas and everything. Oh, best. it was so freaking good. You know, just stuff like that, you know, out of the blue. It's like, what the hell is that? Oh, and of course you got to go in. And as you a New Yorker. See, people from the parts, we go, oh, I'm not going in. I'm not going to. I, I go, go in. I go right in, man. Right. I don't so care. So you guys like going to the beach? Oh, I love oh, the beach. Oh, I love it. I Ever love since I was a kid, please. What's oh. the nicest beach in New York? I love the Rockaways. The Rockaways it's is nice. Coney Island. Island. Yeah. Did you go in the water in Coney Island or no? Yeah. But I, I just like so. the vibe at the Rockaways. And I like yeah. Brighton Beach, too. I like, I like shopping in Brighton Beach. It's fun. That's nice. And that's like a part of Brooklyn that hasn't changed. Yeah. We used, my father used to take us. We used to drive all, remember, Patty, all the way the hell out. We used to go to the beach near Westport, Sherwood Island. That's where all the Italians went. And we used to get there at 7 o'clock in the morning, and we put all the tables together and we because we had to eat. And we'd have breakfast, and then we'd take out the spaghetti and the brajol and the meatballs. And then you go in the water, you get yelled at because you just went in the water, you wait an hour, and then you have to come back and eat again. You never got in the water. Wait an hour, yeah. That, that was, was my beach. That no was my beach. Like they like really got into it, you know? It's so you know? ridiculous. Like, that's such an old one. Get out You're gonna of there. get cramps. You're going to drown. And you got to you know? come back and eat again. And you got to eat before <laughs> you go home. But I'm telling you, we used to leave. We used to leave yeah. 5 o'clock in the morning to get there. Italians so are get the only tables. people that talk about whether they're gonna eat at lunch or at breakfast. Everything, yeah, absolutely. Everything's about the next meal. Bacon next and meal. eggs, yeah. sausage, the Italian bread, and then we got ready for lunch on the beach. We used to come home. My stomach was out like this. Please, <laughs> you know it's incredible. It's like how our lives revolve. Dessert, food. coffee, everything, the whole nine you know. yards. So a question I have for both of you yeah. now is: What were you two doing before all this? What do you mean? So, like social media, when did that become a thing for you? And what were you doing before that? Well. We, uh, how did Patty and Patty happen? How did Patty and Patty happen? Well, I'll tell you how it happened. You tell them. I'll tell you a little bit, and then she's going to tell you the rest. Okay. <laughs> so we were doing uh, we were doing off Broadway. Yeah, we were. Doing and the show. Uh, we're sitting in the dressing room, and I wrote a one act play called Patty and Patty: A Conversation. Yeah. Mm. And so I had written it, and I turned to Marilyn, yes. and I said to her, "You take it from there." Well, uh, of course, the town is being really superstitious. You never talk about anything, but she turns to me in the dressing room. Yeah, we don't want to like, get the mall She's like, look, I wrote something for us. Don't say nothing, you know? And so I said, all right. And so I read it. She came over to my apartment. I read it. I said, this is hysterical. So we did it at uh, another off-Broadway venue. We did it at, it was called the Shortened Attention Span Festival. It was a series of down one on, acts. Down on um, uh, McDougal Street. McDougal Street. Oh, wow. And anyway, we did it part of this one-act festival. People were roaring. They were screaming. It's really laughing. good, guys. They uh, were screaming. And it wasn't, I mean, I mean to Anita's credit, it was it was really funny, but it was also very three-dimensional. It and, was more and poignant, poignant about ch times changing, changing in our building and our still lives. Funny. And I, I truly believe that's why Patty and Patty are successful. Is and because it's, it's three-dimensional. It's very relatable. It's, yes. it's not it's just we all, we all know a Patty. We, right. we hope to. Uh, yes, right. we want to touch people from our yeah. message. You know that things do change, and yeah. the old if. Can slip away easily, and, yeah. and and there's fear there. There's some fear there. And it's there like too. there's a part of I think what people are attracted to as well as a part of that part of Italian culture that's sort of soon disappearing that still remembers the old ways, right? 
You know, and I think you guys probably grew up in a very traditional mm -hmm. Italian family. So you know what we're talking about. You had aunts like Patty yeah, and Patty, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. But a lot of kids, if they're growing up in the suburbs, they don't really they know They don't that. know it. And each they generation gets farther and farther yeah. away. And yeah. then you think, what's going to happen when all this is yeah. lost? Mm -hmm. I think it's, you know, being from a neighborhood. Yes, yes. You know, people that uh, have to drive down a driveway and don't see anybody. Yeah, right. Yeah. They don't have the same thing as just like no. stepping outside and seeing people you yeah. know. Yeah, I mean, they when you were kids, it. you probably played stickball in the street and stuff like that and ba pick up right. basketball games yeah. and stuff. But even if just, you grow up outside yeah. New York, man, you know where I can get a fresh quality pizza with the freshest ingredients? I'm talking like homemade dough, Pecorino Romano grated in-house. Of course. Where? Because Anthony's Cold Fire Pizza and Wings. That cold fire is at the heart of who they are. Oh, they're that spot that's located all in the Northeast and... They have a bunch in Florida, right? Yep. Man, I love when you have a good recommendation for once. Crispy, crunchy, savory, and sweet. Order what you want on Uber Eats. Listen, guys, from now to the end of the year, December 31st, on the Uber Eats app, you go to Anthony and Son Panini shop, and you get a nice $25 off. When you use the code Panini. You gotta use the code Panini. Terms apply. See app for details. We're very excited to announce a long-term partnership with the Soto Gastronomia out from Australia. This guy's got a really, really interesting restaurant uh, concept where all their profits go to all these Italian charities. The Soto has a very interesting story. So they're first-generation Italian-Australians. They're basically us in Australia. The Soto was created in their parents' and grandparents' honor so that they can pay their legacy forward. 100% of their proceeds goes to people in need, charities, and the arts. DeSoto will be supporting us this year, so you know the content's going to be even better. Bro, and who knows? Maybe at some point we're going to have to take a trip down on that. Huh? I was always curious how the Italian Australians made food. It's time we find out. If you have a real Italian family, and Italians, when they came to America, they moved near each other. So if yeah. you lived in a small town, all the Italians moved on that block. Yeah. Your grandmother, your your grandfather, everybody lived together or they lived in the house yeah. next door mm -hmm. and then your aunt and uncle and then your cousins. So you grew up, but today it's not like that. Mm -hmm. You know, so you had a close it was a community shared and you had to go yeah. see your grandmother on Sundays mm -hmm. and you had to be home when people My came to lived see with you. Us. You had to My eat Sunday, Sunday dinners. Us, yeah. How many people have to sit down and eat Sunday dinners mm -hmm. at 12 o'clock? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, you know, I got this if I, you know, you weren't. I remember my grandmother down. making the meatballs on Sunday yeah. mm -hmm. and you went to mass and you know, you, you maybe you snuck a meatball, but yeah. we weren't supposed to do that yeah, before yeah. communion, before right? Before communion, no but way. But the best part is you took a piece of the bread oh. and you dipped it in the sauce and you, you ate it like Let's over the pot. Yeah. 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 yeah, right? What's so better good. than that when it was still cooking on I the stove it. and you sneaked it, you know? So or the guys, fried meatballs yeah. when they come out of the thing, my mother would fry it and say, Mom, yeah, like meatball before Yeah, fried meatballs. Nice crunchy, yeah. Yeah, before they were in the sauce. Good, oh, right in the olive oil. Fry it right in the olive oil. Well, I'm getting now, right? So would you say that you are very proud of your Italian heritage? Yes, I am. Very much so. When I was younger, I have to say, very I, much. I sort of, I don't, it's, I don't really want to say I was embarrassed by it, but you know, like embarrassed by the stereotypes of it. Mm -hmm. But now as I'm uh, older, I'm very appreciative of it. And I, I am very proud to be an Italian American. And I think Italian Americans came from nothing and suffered quite a bit. And yes. that's been forgotten. Right. In this country. I mean, people, because we were, it's we made we it off the you know a certain and, way. You know, real. People we, were treated like the dirt on people's Yeah, soup. We were bullied and, and everything. Yeah. And I, there's I, my father told me he would go to apply for a job and there'd be a sign on the door saying WASP only need apply. Yeah. That's you crazy. know, the names yeah, and true. We, we get it the true. slant. But people, about the slander but yeah, people the names. act like it yes. never happened because I think we yeah. got absorbed into we worked hard, we got absorbed right. into the middle class. And you come and you move up. And it's not really and like then that, it's you know? not like that anymore. You know, and the but next people group of people it. move in, you know, it's But back in my father's generation, I mean It was you, hard. You got if you got a job, get a job with the post office, get yeah. a job with a pension. Union. Get a union job or something. You know, my you father, know, you'll get a pension. Yeah, my father was a steam fitter. But he used to say, he said, go on the job. And he didn't like Italian jokes, my father, because he said people used to, you know, say stuff well, to him because he was Italian. Yeah. No, back then they weren't yeah. jokes. They weren't but they jokes. used to say yeah, things were, about the Italians, and he didn't like it on the job, you know. Yeah. He was a plumber steam fitter, and he would, you know, he would hear yeah. that. Are you, with are the, you with first the guys. generation, both of you? I'm first generation. I'm second generation. Second generation. My yeah. grandfather, I never met either of my grandfathers, but my, my grandfather came over here, I think, and I can't remember if it was 1916 or he was 16 when he came over. Gotcha. And um, he served, he earned his citizenship by serving in the United States right. Army. 
mm. in World War One. Right. Yeah. And then when he came back, I think he worked in factory his whole life. Yeah. You know, he was came from body, and I'm sure he came over in steerage from sure. escaping crushing yeah, yeah. poverty Absolutely. like people do now. Like Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like people do now. Like, you yeah, know, like but they're coming via plane now. But my, um, my grandfather yeah. came over and when he was 15 through yeah. Ellis Island, and he went to yeah. visit his relatives in. Uh, we had relatives in Massachusetts. And then he went back, and he came back when he was 18, and he worked on the Bear Mountain Bridge. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Upstate. Yeah. yeah. And he oh, lived, wow. and he went to, he lived on Canal Street. He would take the train up. They probably lived in some hobble of an apartment, yeah. you know, a bunch of guys. And he'd come up and work on the bridge. Oh, my God. Well, it's Italians, a fantastic I mean, we're always in construction. Beautiful. I mean, Italians. Yeah. Always in construction. The Irish, we built New yeah. York, you know. So, me, me and Rocco, we've been doing this for six years, yeah. right? And I feel everything we do, we do with good intentions to promote the Italian culture. Yeah. And we'll get a lot of comments that we're not Italian. So my question oh. to you oh, for God's sake. is: do why, you guys is get that? do you guys get questions like or oh, yeah. comments, comments that you're not Italian? Oh yeah, oh yeah, or you know that yeah, yeah we're not. Oh, you're not really Italian. Well, then what are we? We're, I mean, <laughs> where would we get our material from? It's not yeah. like we took it and we memorized it. I mean, you have yeah. to be Italian to, to be able to do Italian. I think what a lot Italian. of people don't understand: you could play Italian yeah. if you're not Italian. Well, that but means what there's we Italian, do, there's Italian American. Yeah. we're Italian yeah. American. Well, yeah, what our family was. Right. My I mean, family, I mean, we still yes, make a they tomatoes in the garage right. and all yeah. that right. stuff. I, yeah. and oh, that's, I, that's how our family is. Yeah, and yeah. I like to carry the tradition. So yeah. my cousins do the tomatoes. I go with my cousins and Absolutely. do the tomatoes now. Also, yeah. And uh, I still make all the, you know, the different Italian recipes. I still do, you know, yeah. I still really do that. I want to keep it alive. Yeah. Well, the point I'm trying to make is a lot. In America, there's so many immigrants, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So naturally, when somebody says, what are you? You're not going to say American. You're going to say, I'm Italian. Italian American. Yeah, yeah. I'm Italian. Right? Exactly. You can say Italian or Italian American because yeah, naturally you belong somewhere. Yeah. Yes. You're yeah. not going to say or we, we come from somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. I mean, belong, I, when you, people say, what do you, I say I'm Italian, they already know I'm American, but sometimes they say Italian American. It's In Italy, you know, when they ask you, you know, I say, you know, Italo Americana because I was born here, but my parents were born in yeah, Abruzzo. So. Right. Yeah. So wait, so you're buddies and you're half buddies, half from Nabli Don. Okay, yeah. But my grandmother, the Nabli Don side came over here a, a lot earlier. I think my my grandmother was born here, and I think her mother was born here. I think on wow. Mulberry Street. Wow. Actually, wow. I, I don't think she ever spoke English, but yeah, she was actually born on That's Mulberry amazing. Street. Wow, Little Italy. Yeah. That's great. And then they moved up to the Bronx, and my grandmother, my great grandmother, was born in Little Italy. My grandmother was born up in the Bronx, and my father. I love the Bronx. Yeah, the Bronx is great. Or there's Arthur so Avenue. Many pockets oh in the Bronx. Arthur yeah. Avenue, yeah. And it's changing, it's shifting, but there's yeah. still that pocket yeah. of Italians yeah, up yeah. there with the stores. I honestly think that they Little food. Italy is more authentic than Little Italy in That's a lot of people. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're right. Mulberry Street? Yeah. yeah. Hopefully what we have going could give a little spark there. So I the hope so. Yeah. You know what I used to we love, love to have on you Mulberry visit Street? Too. Yes. Yeah. We'd love that. I used to love those stores that you bought all the Italian shops. The yeah, they closed. You know? And there was Ernie, that lady Ernie who was Rossi now. Is yeah, like yeah. yeah. There was that Sigilion lady. I used yeah. to buy all the tchotchkes in the in the tapes and yeah. the CDs from her in the magazines. And then there was the other guy across the street, was, you know? Was, was, yeah, and they wild, used to say guy. things to each other. But you know but and, they used to compete? With each other? Yeah, they used I to compete I, with I each other. I walked into the other one, the guy, and he was having a screaming fight on the phone with somebody. Yeah, and trying right. to pay for my T-shirt. Right, you know? right. <laughs> <laughs> they used to compete with each other. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Competition's good, though, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It brings out the best in you. It is. Yeah. But it was but, fun. I used to go there, and I used to go to her store, and then he used to talk about him, and he... I used to go in there and talk Don't about go. La Senora. He's not good. <laughs> no, he doesn't have anything. I got it over here. And then she go over there. Oh, she's... Uh, How much she has it for? Oh, you pay cheaper right, exactly, here. Yeah, right? Exactly. Take $5 it's all yeah, the time. Exactly. It's all the yeah, time. Yeah. Right. So before Patty and Patty, we were, we were talking before that you guys actually had an interesting role yes. in an iconic Italian-American show. Yes. Can we talk about that a little sure, bit? Sure. Yeah. The Sopranos. Yes. Yes. We're going to fact check you because we've had people on the podcast before said they were stand-ins for AJ and oh. that they knew well, my, James. My, ca you know? my character's <laughs> Mary. My character's Mary in the last episode. I played Bobby Bacala's sister, but unfortunately oh I got caught. God. Bobby Bacala's only, sister. Yeah, and then I, un, you know, and then in the very last scene, it's hard. You can't see me, but I'm holding a plate up in the funeral. I'm holding a plate the end of the line so i had a i had a line you what know? episode was but that it was remember? the last episode, episode. very yeah. last episode that's last, last episode yeah. Yeah. and Patty i was in you? the fourth season i played um a friend of carmela's uh Ar Ar darlene 
And uh, I was a real estate agent, and I was the one who sold Furio's house. So I was with her when she found out that Furio. Yo, was, Rock, was we literally got to dig up these parts of these episodes. Yeah, no, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. go on my website and see it. I mean, yeah? you can go. Oh, oh yeah, you can go on on MarilynMetteries.com. You see my whole reel is there. So I've done that. And I've done Law and Order, Nurse Jackie, amazing, um, amazing. you know, The Americans, and of course, you know, off, a lot of Off Broadway stuff. So you guys and, were aspiring actresses. Well, no, we or are professional we are actresses. Professional yeah. We're actresses. Okay. We're, yeah. Members yeah. of Actors Equity, yeah. and Screen Actors and, and Guild. Part of me is skilled. I, I, yeah. you know, I should have done the more unions. research. Yeah, yeah, no, that's okay. It's, <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah, but we met doing an off Broadway show. Um, yeah, Tony and Tina's wedding. That's Patty right. and Patty that's is right. so big that people have no idea. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, that's me right. and I, me and Rocco could confidently say we have no idea. Yeah, I, I didn't oh, mean wow. like that. Oh, your actresses. Oh no, no, I understand. I understand that you're. We're so believable. Social media. That's a compliment. Yeah, that's a compliment. Well, the thing is, we we always had it on our website that we were. But we would get these comments from people. Yeah. I would say, we need it. You know, I, I think people think we're real. Yeah, I mean, we have our bio up there and yeah, everything. Yeah, and everything. So and people do. people think we're real. And they're like, all right, yeah. you know. I um, mean, I think not everybody's clicking on the website and sees yeah, our bio. So they're just watching Patty there. and Patty. Yeah. And as we, you know, as we, you know, put stuff up, we post things. That's what they're watching over and over again. So. Yeah, yeah. So the next thing for Patty and Patty, you think would be like a broad... Broadway show or like sketch comedy. From your mouth to God's ears. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, well. you know, we're working on a few things. So we'll I can see that. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Nice. That's the luck. It's super nice. entertaining Thank to us. Thank you. And uh, I actually think we should have some fun and hopefully they could teach us some like Italian American slang words. Yeah. yeah I mean, I have, I have a bunch. Yeah. I was hoping you could give us the meaning. Oh, well, sure. Go ahead. Right. Unless, you know, if there's something that we don't name, you could just sure. put it out there. Yeah. Go ahead. But, uh, all right, so some Italian American words. Okay, I'm gonna give you a word. All right, one of you. Or you tell both us of you. what it, the definition. You tell, you tell me and the viewers right. what it means. All right. All right. First one. Start easy. Scustamad. Oh, it's like you're rude. Scustamad. You're rude. I thought it was yeah. I thought Scustamad. It was like it's like a rude. Right? You're a rude stupid. person. Scustamad. Yeah. You got no manners. Give yeah. me an example yeah. how to use it. Scustamad. You scustamad. Uh, uh, what are you doing? You're you're uh, you're taking the food before you've been asked. You're scustamad. Yeah. Going into the refrigerator without asking. Yeah, that's yeah, me. Exactly. It's more to the bomb. More yeah, to the that's it. You know. you're more to just, the bomb. Yeah, you're just yeah, you're uh, dying, of hunger. dying of hunger. You're yeah. eating and eating. And you're you're yeah. being a but some gavun, in front of some somebody. Some who's shoveling the food yeah. in before everyone <laughs> even gets a chance. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I he's going, he's like going for that. seconds before yeah. somebody else no first. Yeah. No falas scustamad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, so this one you used in a video, and I had no idea what this was. All right. Shambalata. Oh, oh yeah. Shambhala. That's all like, you know, you're all messed up. Like CD or like yeah. in the neighborhood you, you of Shambhala. You put your pants on good. You got your blouses you're all. Wrinkled, I think wrinkled. of Shambhala. It's not Shambhala. It's not the same Shangad? thing. Shangad is the same thing. Like oh, Shangad is all messed up. Shangad is Shambhala. That's the yeah. same thing. <laughs> Have you ever heard Shambhala? <laughs> They're cousins. Shingats too. I've heard that maybe. See, it depends on the dialect too. Yeah. Because, yeah. 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 you know, what you're Shangad to me is like someone's hungover. Yeah, you could be Shangad, but you could also have your shirt. It's all Shangad. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, true, that's yeah, true. Shambhala yeah. all over your hair's yeah. all over you. Shambhala. Yeah. yeah, I'm all shambhala. I got to put my good shoes on. I don't want to go all shambhala. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mushad. Mushad. Mushad is just, you know. Like we make, make you boil, overboil the macaroni. Overboil the spaghetti. The mushad. But mushad so also mushad. means... Sometimes like, you're mushad like this someone's too. Someone's mushad like, eh, yeah. could, you, could, you, yeah. could you put some you effort like in? You're a little mushad. You're all mushad. What's the yeah. matter? You're mushad today. I don't feel yeah, good. You know. Yeah. I don't feel good in Rose. Yeah. Right. Strunz. Uh, oh, it's a it's little a shit. It's right. a tart. It's a tart. Little shit. Little <laughs> right. shit. Yeah. Can you use right. it in a sentence? Yeah, you're real strunz. You know that? Yeah. Who can sue strunz, Allah? Why do they get sue strunz? Facha galoop. Facha galoop. Well, bacha galoop was with Costello, right? Yeah, but yeah, Mr. Yeah. Bacha galoop. Facha galoop. Facha galoop. I don't is know. Made up one? It's a made up one, I, I think. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I know Are you Mr. Bacha Galoop. I know Mr. Bacha Galoop from Abbott and Costello. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, uh, I made that one up. I yeah, Bacha Bacha Galoop. Galoop. That's what I mean. Bacha Galoop. She knows more than I do because she speaks Italian, but I, you know. Yeah, yeah. Galoop. Chooch. Chooch. Oh, big God. Big big guy. Jerky big guy. Dope. He don't know how like, to act. Like a chooch. He don't know a couple chooch. Another one, chooch. You know. Real chooch. Yeah. Somebody you don't want to date. He's a right. chooch. He's a chooch. Well, like, he's like a, a jamook, you said. Yeah, yeah. jamook. Yeah. 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 Same thing. Same gabish. difference. Gabish. Hey, you understand? You gabish? Hey, you know? gabish. Yeah, gabish. You gabish? Yeah, you know? I'm going to hit right. you in the What's head. This? Hey, gabish. I don't know. That's the old, uh, the, the mob the thing. The mob. Like, yeah. Watch, watch, mob watch him, you know? Gabish. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Are there any words he missed that we should know? Gavon. 
Or Cavon. 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 Cavon is the way. We what about uh, my grandmother? You say Lambatson. He's a Lambatson. Lambatson. Yeah, he's just kind of like he's standing there. He don't do nothing. He's <laughs> lazy. lazy. Oh, he's a big Lambatson. <laughs> my grandma. I feel like I've seen that word. Grandma Nona Rosa used to say that. Lambatson. Yeah, they good for nothing. What's so Lambatson? My grandmother used to say. Yeah. He's still fast with Lambatson. What is he doing over there? Okay, we're going to have some more fun now. Yeah. Okay. Italian spelling bee. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, I ain't going to get there. Oh, my God. Hattie S is starting. All right. All right. You got to start the Jeep. Huh? Start the Jeep. Oh, start, start the Jeep. <laughs> we start to the shut Jeep. up. But you yeah. got to start the Jeep. 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 No, yeah. we, we, we have a friend that didn't know. Oh, start the Jeep. Yeah, he goes, start the Jeep. <laughs> he he, he was just really mad. Medicon, so Medicon. He goes, oh. Start the Jeep over Start there. The well, that's the way my oh, brother my Lord. Lord. Kevin is. He hears something, and my sister goes, that's how he hears it. Start the Jeep. <laughs> yeah. I'm starting it. I'm starting yeah. it. Start the Jeep. He's start the Jeep. I don't know what you're talking start about. Start the Jeep and start the Jeep. Yeah. Start the Jeep. <laughs> right. Shut up. Right. Start the Jeep. All right. Spelling. Yeah. Espresso. Spell Espresso. E-S-P-R-E-S-S-O. Ding, 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 ding. She got it. Yeah. All right, okay. you're next. You got to right. beat her, though. <laughs> okay. Don't give her I'll hippopotamus. Sfogliatelle. Sfogliatelle. S F O. S F O. S F O. You know, start the G. Sfog. Sfog. A. T. E L L A A E because sfogliatelle. A or E. I'm sorry, incorrect. You could uh -oh. you could steal. Uh, let me see. You could steal let here. me see. Okay. Oh, and, in all fairness, you should have like a pen and paper. So oh, to <laughs> see what it looks like. Okay. Sfogliatelle is S F O G L I A T E. L L E. Bravo. Okay, oh. you got the L. I forgot the L. Two zero. You said I forgot the L, Patty. I said it. You think I was L is hard though. It's a hard. It is hard. That's a hard. You know why? You know why? The L and not the N. You know why? Because I spell it all the time when I do the Instagram posts. Yeah, that's right. But espresso. Did you think I was going to say espresso? Please, like some people. Espresso. Like those chambalades. Yes. You know the the spoyatel because sometimes the ny sound with the N like a yum. You know. That's a hard one though. But there's no. In there. Sfogliatelle. No, Sfogliatelle. I was thinking the G and but I knew the L, but I forgot the L. Oh, all okay. right, whatever. whatever. It's all right. Next time, right. Brajol. Oh, for you. For me. Yeah. B R A C C I O L E. Incorrect. For the steel. Brajoli. B R A. Wait a minute. Uh, Brajol. B R A. C, C I O L E. How many C's? Two C's. One C. There's one C. One. Is it is it with an S? S C. I thought it was no no, no, no S. Two C's. I thought no. it was C. Two C's. Rajol. One Rajol. C. It's one C. B R A C I O L E. All right. Rajoli. You had the steel and you said the same thing. <laughs> no, I I wasn't sure. Oh well. <laughs> All right. Mortadella. Mortadella. Uh, M O R T. A D E L L A. Bravo. I know my mortadella. If you get whoever this, you gets win. three, whoever right. gets three. All right. Manicotti. Okay. M A N I C O T T I. Love That's it. That's it. I love it. You got Beautiful. it, Patty. Listen, it was, sister it was a good Magalotta would be proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. I want to spell and be sister. This is it. What do you so get? get? An a? a new catechism. <laughs> my grandmother, my nan, and my, my nan abandoned. There you made go. The best money got you ever had in your life. <laughs> That's right. Well, That's speaking right. of Nonna, I know a lot of your content is actually some of Nonna's advice. Yeah. That she oh, gave yeah. to. Can you both give us some? Words of wisdom, or to the young ladies out there, some yeah. some of Nana's advice Just that young she ladies, gave, yeah, that you can share with. I do, oh, yeah. So before we get to that, do you guys have like a nice niece or something for me? Uh, <laughs> oh, we gotta find one. My niece is married. Oh yeah, yeah, she's I, married. I'm not too jealous. I gotta answer. Like, she's got any friends? <laughs> I'll ask around. What? What? Where? Like, where's a good place to find a nice, nice girl nowadays? I would say. 
Hang out in Little Italy in the supermarkets when they go out and shop for their mothers. Really? Yeah, yeah why not? They all do the Uber Eats the, now. You know yeah. what? In the, in the grocery store, that's where you got to meet You got to go to Target, bro. Yeah? What, what aisle in the grocery store would you say? Like Wherever you are. Are oh, the fresh mozzarella You know section? what? If you're going to go to the nice, the fresh produce, and mm-hmm. then you go to the deli, mm-hmm. you know? Okay. Stuff like that. Where the breads mm-hmm. are. Yeah. You talk to everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, they don't make girls like they these, used to, though. I, I, think, I think the best way to meet people is to do things that you love and yeah. meet like-minded people. That's right. That's right. You and don't you think it's opposites people. attract? Well, yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, but, but, you, could but you could be opposites, something. but still enjoy doing a yeah. particular That's right. activity or sport. That's or, right. Or, you know, you go to the theater, whatever. And just be open, say hello, and yeah. smile. Mm. I people think, don't smile anymore. Everybody's on the phones. Yeah. That's the problem, And I think if to give people advice, like for young women, to give advice... Value yourself. That's right. Because Definitely. if you don't value yourself, nobody else will. That's right. And you got to be happy with yourself. You yeah. really do. I know that's a cliche. But it ain't. But nobody yeah. can really make you happy. No. Because sure. you can you can, you can be head over heels in love, and then that's not going to last the way it did in the beginning. Mm. And then when you marry 10 years, you can't wait for that person to make you happy. You got to mm. do what you're doing so you are happy, and that person's happy, and you're happy together. Yeah. That's good dating advice. Yeah. You said you said That's one. It. it was like, and I forgot the words in Italian, but it was men thinking with the wrong head. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that that's it. They think with the wrong head. Well, they do. Yeah. Oh, there was no Italian phrase for that. No, right? that's... No. Th- my grandmother used to say that, that they think with the wrong head. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, which exactly. head is that? Oh, g- figure <laughs> it out. <laughs> hey, this is not X-rated, that's, right? That's, yeah. That's an old school, like... Yeah, he thinks with yeah. the wrong head, that that's one. That's right. There's not enough blood then, to yeah, hold yeah. your bones. You said your mom, your nonna used to say, uh, when you cook, you have to share it? Oh, yeah. When you have... When you cook, you got to share it. So do... Uh, or else you're going to choke. Yeah. You always oh share what you got to eat or else you're going to choke. But is it just food or is it figured it like... No, it's it like food. It's like mostly like food. You know, you share because if you got something, you you, you don't eat it all yourself. You share it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or else you're going to choke on it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. It's true. Now, my dad used to tell me a story when he was growing up because he grew up in Italy over there and really poor town and then this one kid of his like um th- like one of the neighbors had chocolate like a bar of chocolate and then like my dad said that he was just like i look at the chocolate and the kid didn't offer him a, a piece and like that's a big deal yeah, too like if, it is if you have something and it's so, like when you go inside somebody's house the italians always go come on sit down you want something to eat want something to drink? you go somebody's somebody's house they don't offer you a cup of coffee they don't offer you a glass of water what the hell is that then you come home. My father used to come home and say, you need me to ask me for a cup of coffee. And my mother used to say, not everybody's like us, you know? Yeah. I mean, you know, that's the way it is. No, Italians, God forbid, you know? It's different. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's yeah. like, you know, you scumbari. Well, if you it's don't just part ask, of it. That's another one, scumbari. You know, yeah, when yeah. you guys, yeah. when we walked in, you guys, you want water, you want coffee, you yeah. want something, you know? We're going to get that a sandwich That was really after. nice. We're going to get a yeah. sandwich. I like I that. I feel back in the day, every family had like a little box of enemas in the corner for when company came. Over. Everybody did. Yeah. Everybody did. Entimus, you always had yeah. an... Yeah, it, the enemas. That was the emergency. The emergency coffee cake. The crumb coffee cake. Just in case. That's the go-to, right? The crumb cake? Yes. The crumb cake, yeah. Yep, the crumb cake. And just God. in case, but my my mother always had pizzels. I always got pizzels in the yeah. house. You know, she always had my some pizzels in case, in case somebody comes over. That's the whole thing. My grandmother was such an amazing baker. She used to make all the breads and stuff for the whole family. My mother told oh, me. Oh, so good. So she could take an old shoe and put it in a pot and make it taste good. And I wish that I had those recipes. Yeah, I had written recipes. them down when I was old enough to really. Yeah. Because I remember helping her make them when I was a little girl because she had arthritis. So I always, always used to. Mm-hmm. Do the Whip the, the batter for her. She probably loved that to but help yeah, you help but, her. But um, man, she never measured anything. She just never. Did it. And her cakes were so light. Yeah, I think I tried making it once. I tried remembering it. Came like a lead. It was like a yeah. brick. I wish it's got to be down, just you know? right. My mother yeah. makes the pizzelles. They're so great. She puts yeah. just enough. She doesn't measure anything. Mm. She's just pouring, and then she makes her biscotti with the almonds. Oh my god, it's so yeah. good. Anything she makes like a sponge cake. With this great like cream, uh, uh, chocolate cream, vanilla cream, and grenadine. She mm. soaks the grenadine, mm. but it's like light. It's like yeah. an angel food. It's so, I don't know how she gets a consistency. All these yeah. different cookies, my you know, the holidays times. My, I love it. One of my favorite memories, my grandmother, because of the, the Italians, they never wasted nothing. Nothing. They never waste anything. Mm-hmm. She would make a homemade pie, 
And you know when you cut around the crust, there's always yep. those little things you in the crust. You save it and do she something. She would roll them out. She put cinnamon and sugar on them, roll them up, them. and bake them in the oven. That's she would call them rolling pins. Yeah, there you go. And I was three years old, and I, I love would, it. I would love those. My my grandma. I mean, I would beg her to make the rolling pins. And it's then like, you'd eat make them. Rolling pins. And then you would never wasted anything. I like that more than the pie. Yeah, you know. You but know, it's just stuff like that. You know, they make uh, when they make the Italian homemade uh, pasta. You know, yeah. Sometimes you get when you're making the raviolis, you get the ends of the pasta. Yeah, when you yeah. roll, and then and they call that Lionel, Lionel, yeah. yeah. because they make pasta. them. They yeah. make them at Carnevale, yeah. and so you get the pasta strips with the little things on them from yeah. the ravioli thing, and you have so that. So good, nice and thick. I oh like my it. god, it's yeah. so good. What else? It's what so else do you guys want to tell people that watch this podcast? What's one thing we should know about you guys? We would just thank, thank you to all our fans. Yeah. We definitely want to say that. We thank do. you to all our and fans. And we're really humbled sometimes yeah, when we really people appreciate do it. come up to us. So, like, so some things to look out for is definitely seeing you guys do some kind of show, sketch comedy show or something. Yeah, we hope so in the future. We, yes, yeah. absolutely. Keep watching, our, uh, keep watching our keep uh, watching all our IG yeah. and TikTok. And check and, us out on YouTube, too. Because YouTube. Our, we have a lot of long-form videos. Yes. Oh, really? From back in oh, the day. That's that, right, that's right. Because, you know, when we first started... 